Hey, what's going on photographers? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use one Godox speed light as a wireless flash trigger to control multiple speed lights or strobes. As you guys can see, I have the Godox V860 Mach 3 and I have two Godox V860 Mach 2s. Now, as far as my main unit, I'm going to use the Mach 3, but you can use a Mach 2 to do the same thing. So you don't have to run out and go get a new speed light in order to do a multiple wireless light setup. All right, so I'm going to approach this tutorial with a clean slate as if you got a brand new unit. So what you wanna do is you wanna cut your speed light on and you're gonna hit a reset. You reset your unit. Next, you want to click this menu button right here. Click this menu button and you want to set your ID, your, your wireless trigger ID. And the reason why it just gives you more control. It prevents other photographers. Let's say you're at an event. It prevents other photographers from triggering your speed lights. Uh, that could become a, a pain in the butt. So you always want to make sure you have your own unique ID and then the same will go for your channel. We're gonna go with channel four here as well. So my ID is four and my channel is gonna be four. Now these numbers do not have to be the same. It could be any number you choose. I'm just going with four and four for simplicity. All right, next I'm gonna back out of this menu and I'm gonna click the wireless selection button right here. I'm gonna click that to I see this screen. I don't know the name of this display, but it looks exactly like a trigger does. So you got your your groups here, A, B, C, D, A. You got your, um, got your different channels, you got your display. And that's exactly what this has. And I hate when I click that button and it goes to that screen, but all right, we're back there. So you got, you got your master, alpha, bravo, charlie groups, and you also got your channel options. So you see channels already set to four here. Now let's go over to our flash, the ones that we're gonna be using off camera. Let's go ahead and cut that on. Let's go ahead and reset it. Hit the reset button right here. Now this trigger does not have the menu button. So what you have to do is you have to click the zoom function button, hold it for a couple of seconds, and then it's gonna take it to the menu. You're gonna roll down till you see your ID selection go ahead and change that to four your ids must must match okay your ids must match let's go ahead and back out of it this unit does not allow you to set a channel on the menu so what you have to do is you have to set your channel um, in one of the modes and the mode we're looking for here is the radio slave mode that's the mode you're looking for at the bottom we have the group and we have channel here what we want to do is we want to change our channel so we're going to click that channel button and we're going to change that to four we're going to change group we don't necessarily have to change group but i'm going to change it here for the sake of the tutorial i'm going to change it a couple of times but i'm going to take it back to a so we have it set to group a now let's go ahead and do a quick test so all right, got our display back on. Let's go ahead and turn on the group A and let's go ahead and fire it. See what happens. There you go. Like that. So that's firing off, it's working. Let's go ahead and do the same for our second flash unit. Let's go ahead and do a hard reset here. You don't always have to reset guys. I'm just doing it for the sake of if you're a new user of the, or if you have a brand new flash unit and you don't have anything set. So anywho, gonna click and hold the zoom button here. Gonna scroll down till you get to ID. Gonna set the ID to four. You know, get out of that menu. You're gonna click the wireless selection button a couple of times till you see that radio slave mode which is right here. So you're in radio slave mode. 
Then you want to change your channel, your channel four, and you want to change your group. This one's going to be group B. All right, so we have group A, we have group B. Let's go ahead and test it. Let's, uh, first I'm going to disable group A so we don't have too many lights flashing. And let's go ahead and enable group B. And let's run a quick test. Let's see how it goes. So, uh oh. Let's go again. There you go. As you guys can see, it's connected. All three units are connected. Now I can place these on my Bowens mounts and set them anywhere I need to set up for the best pictures. And I also have that on camera flash option as well. So that's how you do it, guys. It's very simple. I know this tutorial was a little long, but I wanted to show you guys exactly how it's done and I wanted to take my time. So I hope you got some value from this. Please drop a comment if it helped you. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah, please click the subscribe button. I'm trying to get my first 1,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate it, guys. Peace.